are living in the world, your prayers are squeezed into morning or evening. You haven't much time. So you have to make your prayer very quick and very short. So in that sense, it is an auxiliary construction, something which occupies our mind and our heart to the exclusion of God. What about here? What about in the desert, in the mountain? There is nobody to tell me what to do. When I leave the monastery and come up here, I am without rule. If I want to sleep 19 hours out of 24, I can. Nobody will say anything. Nobody will know. If I want to, to daydream all my life, nobody will know. So the rule is internal. A desert monk, he must have an internal rule. He must have a discipline which comes from his heart. So this freedom, this solitary monk form, means that I am without distractions, without any, anything which could inhibit me from coming close to God. close to God when you are surrounded with what Freud called auxiliary constructions. You can never come as close to God when you are in the midst of many supporting things as you can when you are naked, when you are alone. So I would say that a monk has a privileged position in this race to know God because he has no distractions. It's like you've got a, a special path opened before you, like a royal road. You can travel this road to heaven. A monk, he sees before him prayers, the liturgy, the Holy Communion. He sees before him many, many years of undisturbed prayer. Our whole attention is following the life of Christ. We repeat his life in our life. Because our faith is our work. A monk's faith is his life and his life is his faith. This means we are all the time moving on the one railway track of, of Christian faith. Father Lazarus of the Coptic Orthodox Church. I have come from Australia. I am Australian. I was. My name is particularly relevant to my life because it means the one who is resurrected. So I chose this name both for its power of resurrection because I was not Christian all my life. I have become a monk 
and a Christian at the same time and uh, changed my life uh, completely. So it was like I was dead and I came to life. Before I was a man proud of himself. I was sure that I am the captain of my ship and the master of my fate. I was sure that I am the one who determines my own destiny. Now I believe that I am in the hand of the Lord. I believe that I have changed completely from being the master of my own life to being the, the, the loving son, the servant, the slave of Jesus Christ. This change from pride to, to humility, from independence to dependence, from adulthood to childhood, this is the, the complete change which has happened to me from before monasticism to after monasticism. This place for sleeping is like a tomb, you know, it's just a, it's just a hole in the rock. So when I crawl in there to sleep, it's like I lay me down to die. Huh? If I wake, I will. If not, I Thank you. 